Two years after a massive winter storm crippled the Texas power grid, critics still say not enough has been done to prevent the grid from crashing again. The target of much of that concern, the natural gas industry, and what has or hasn't been done to make sure it's ready for the next deep freeze. Just two weeks ago, much of Texas was pounded by freezing temperatures, ice and sleet, but nothing like the Arctic blast from two years ago. Winter storm Uri, ice, sleet, snow and bitter cold, single digits and teens for almost a week. The power grid crashed for a variety of reasons, but according to this report from the Energy Institute at UT, it was due in large part to a freeze up of equipment and a failure to get natural gas fuel to power plants. New rules have since been put in place to make sure gas processing equipment is now winterized. But according to state records, at least five natural gas processing plants had to shut down during the relatively mild winter event two weeks ago. Case after case of equipment failure that either froze up or needed thawing out. One major processing plant lost its electricity. When Spectrum News asked gas regulators at the Texas Railroad Commission about the five incidents, they gave us this statement. No energy emergency alerts were issued. The gas supply was not disrupted. There are no investigations. But what we're seeing is that the rules were just not strong enough. Virginia Palacios with Commission Shift is one of the most vocal critics of the Texas Railroad Commission. While she does give them credit for issuing new weatherization rules and standards, she says it's still not enough. You know, we lost hundreds of lives in winter storm Uri. It was one of the costliest natural disasters in state history. It was also the largest carbon monoxide poisoning event in state history. And so the reaction that we're seeing from state lawmakers and the Railroad Commission does not match the devastation that we had two years ago from winter storm Uri. For natural gas companies, holding them accountable when they break the rules, killed hundreds of Texans and gas pipeline. This new campaign from the Texas Consumer Association is part of an initiative to mandate a gas industry watchdog and allow the power grid operators at ERCOT to monitor gas production and delivery systems in Texas. And the failure of gas during winter storm URI was the number one problem in terms of generation. Um, if the gas were there, we wouldn't have had the blackouts that we had during winter storm URI, bottom line. So what we would like to see is the creation at least of some form of transparency. And will that happen? Well, Governor Abbott continues to remind us the power stayed on during a record heat wave last summer and these past two winters held up as well. He says while upgrades will be necessary, the reforms are working and the grid, well, it's just fine.